How you doing today, guys? We have a special video for the zombie villagers I have right here. The uh, the farmer one, that one right there. Uh, he has a trade for cooked fish, so I've been fishing for that. But later on, I get some really great news for them. Uh, but you guys will see that. Uh, this episode is pretty much dedicated to building them a new house so that they're not stuck in minecarts or stuck inside that 4x4 room. This is the outside of the building, which is just a skeleton at the moment. Uh, the roof is going to come across all this. Uh, I'm just going to bring out both these walls. Uh, that right there is not going to be there. That's where they're housed right now. But all that's going to be changed. I'm thinking about an underground layer. I'm not sure yet, so we'll see how the building keeps going. But I'll catch you guys in a few seconds. So this is the updated area of what it is. Uh, this is zombie underneath the house. I have a gun looking for him. I'm just gonna leave him alone. Uh, but I've completely did a whole underground layer. I'm gonna block that up right there because it just looks weird, so they don't fall down and take damage. But uh, as you can see right here, it is—it's not dark, but things will spawn in here. So I'm just gonna like light the whole place up. As in light the whole place up, I literally mean I'm going to throw torches all over the wall. Uh, I wanted to do this because I don't know how zombie breeding, I mean not zombie breeding, villager breeding goes, so I'm going to be doing that too, so I can get probably different trades or more trades with wheat or wool, because those two are the easiest to come by for, for trading to get more emeralds, and if I get more emeralds I can make a bigger beacon, and a bigger beacon means more power, which I can get jump for really far away and things like that. But uh, this is how it is now. I'm going to be breaking down the wall. I don't know what. Actually, I'm breaking down a lot of these so I can get uh, windows. So that way they can. There's sunlight going in and things like that. So I'll catch you guys in a few seconds. So my girlfriend randomly came into my room to see what I had, which was these two sheeps, but at first there was only one, so she was like, hey, how come there's not two? So I spent another name tag on a another Jeb to get uh, another sheep going. So yeah, that's how I got those guys. Uh, off the trading, I got an, uh, another 12 emeralds, and that was only after doing a... 21 hay bales, which is about 9 times 21, so it's 
it's good, but it's not like going to make me rich. But uh, a lot of people are asking where my um, nether portal was, and there's some iron there that I need to grab later on. But uh, I put my nether portal underneath my house. Well, not underneath my house, but just underneath where I am. But it's pretty much like that, so that way things can't go inside and zombie pigment can't come outside. So I have it all blocked off so nothing can go in or out. So that is where my nether portal is now. Uh, pretty much going to show off the last of the island. Looks like there's some grass heading up there, which is a good sign. Hopefully there's at least one block up there with uh, that's spreading the grass so I don't have to ever see this horrendous eyesore of a dirt uh, bridge going up there. Sorry about watching all this jumping at the moment, but it's the only way to get up to the island. Uh, there is going to be no way up to the island unless people build up there, but I'm going to notice it. So, And there is some grass up here, so now I can get rid of this horrendous dirt bridge. But all the grass is going to spread around the whole island, so it's actually going to look a lot better than just... Uh, covered in crap and there is I brought a pig up here a little while ago but uh, kind of fell right there so I don't know how he's going to do so hopefully he doesn't kill himself but I push him off the um, floating island so now there is no animals up here but uh, so far, the series is going really well. If you guys like and enjoy it, leave a like and a comment. And don't forget to tell your mom, your grandma, anyone in your family, or your friends, your cousins, anyone. Just show the, uh, the channel some love. Have a nice one, guys.